The Codex Sinaiticus has no comparators. This volume is the oldest surviving copy of the New Testament, complete. This is the ancestor of all the Bibles that everybody else has in the world. And we know exactly what they were reading in 7th century Arabia because we have the Codex Sinaiticus, which contains the entirety of the New Testament, which predates the Quran by 300 years. We also have, going back even further than that, the Dead Sea Scrolls, which contain the Torah, the Jewish scriptures. Um, and so we, we know exactly what they were reading and it's exactly what we have today. Jonathan mentioned about Codex, Codex Sinaiticus. I challenge him to bring us Codex Sinaiticus from its original 4th century uh, standardization to what we have today of the Bible and see if it's the same. There's books that's in Codex Sinaiticus that's not found in present-day Bible. So why don't you mention that, Jonathan? Why, don't, don't be dishonest. You have your earliest first manuscript, whole manuscript. It does not exist the same way as your present-day Bible exists to this day. Then he mentioned that, so what, things are changing. It, it doesn't, no, no, no serious theology hinges on that. We're not talking about theology. We're talking about the fact it was changed. Because if one thing was changed, that means two or three or four or five things also could have been changed. But the mere fact that you admit that things will change is enough proof to show the Quran what it says is true. Because we have the Codex Sinaiticus, which contains the entirety of the New Testament, which predates the Quran by 300 years. We also have, going back even further than that, the Dead Sea Scrolls, which contain the Torah, the Jewish scriptures. Um, and so we, we know exactly what they were reading, and it's exactly what we have today. So why don't you mention that, Jonathan? Why, don't, don't be dishonest. Because we have the Codex Sinaiticus, which contains the entirety of the New Testament, which contains the entirety of the New Testament, which contains the entirety of the New Testament. So why don't you mention that, Jonathan? Why, don't, don't be dishonest. We, we know exactly what they were reading, and it's exactly what we have today. And it's exactly what we have today. And it's exactly what we have today. That's being disingenuous. contains the entirety of the New Testament, and it's exactly what we have today. So these are things that you have to deal with that we didn't get a chance to go into deeply, but I want to bring them now so people can see that it's not black and white, as if somehow the Bible is sitting here preserving or intact. That's not the case. The claim of the Quran is that it was revealed, but it has been changed in history. Who authorized the people in the first place to put them in there that later on the revisionists would come out and say they wasn't part of the earlier manuscripts? Who authorized the first Codex and to to uh, be its Codex and then when you make the Bible itself, you don't include everything in that first Codex? Who's picking and choosing what goes in, what goes out? Who was the standards of, you know, so adding canon and taking out from canon? The Codex and I'm asking Jonathan or anybody, is it, is it Codex and that existed? 
the first codex in the fourth century, is it the same exact Bible that we have today? Yes or no? And who authorized these things to be put in or taken out? These are questions you have to answer. This is reality. The Quran is telling you this, but you don't want to accept it. Um, so um, as, as for whether the Codex Sinaiticus is identical to our modern Bibles, well, the Bible I read is in English. The Codex Sinaiticus was in Greek. And I would ask you, you know, there's not a single Quranic manuscript prior to 1924, which is identical to the 1924 Hafs Quran. Um, and so your argument, I'm afraid, backfires on you at that point. As for whether the Codex Sinaiticus is identical to our modern Bibles, well, the Bible I read is in English. The Codex Sinaiticus was in Greek. That's being disingenuous. As for whether the Codex Sinaiticus is identical to our modern Bibles, well, the Bible I read is in English. The Codex Sinaiticus was in Greek. That's being disingenuous. There are certain texts in the in the New Testament which are inserted later. You mentioned John 8, the woman caught in the act of adultery is also 1 John 5, 7, and the ending of Mark, in, uh, Mark 16 and so on. But uh, we're honest about this. In fact, if you read any um, modern Bible translation, you'll see a footnote at the end of the, at the, in the margin saying that this is not found in the earliest manuscript. Because we have the Codex Sinaiticus, which contains the entirety of the New Testament, and it's exactly what we have today. Stop being disingenuous, be honest, ask honest questions based on sound history, and then we can deal with you better. But when you come with lies and deceit, stuff like that, then you really you, you embarrass yourself more than anything else. So this is the reality. The Quran says the Bible has changed, it was corrupted, it was tampered with. History says so, your scholars say so. What's the issue? But the mere fact that you admit that things will change is enough proof to show the Quran what it says is true. So this is reality. The Quran says the Bible has changed. It was corrupted. It was tampered with. History says so. Your scholars say so. What's the issue? This is what happens. Allah describes it to us in the Holy Quran. When truth is hurled against falsehood, it knocks out its brains. It knocks out its brains. It knocks out its brains. Kawabunga. Tulia ahlal kitabila kaunu fi dini kum oiral hanko. Wala tatabiru ahua akawmin kadabalu min kabinu wa abalu kathira. Wabalu an sawa isabil. Come to serve you, here we come, Allah, here we come.